you put, Jonathan, if you... Well, I thought to show I'm down with the kids, I would write it street style. Yeah. <laughs> Squid, S-K-W-I-D, games, games. Z. <laughs> I've never seen the young kids... I've seen dyslexic kids write it like that. <laughs> Um, OK. Uh, I wanted to know uh, what you do to summon the iconic horror character, the Candyman, who returned to cinemas this year. Did you see the film? Yeah. 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 Great. Sarah? I know what the answer is, but yeah. I didn't watch the film. Do you like horror movies? No, or? I just like good films. Just... <laughs> oh. Candyman's good fit. It's a good film. <laughs> it's a good... The original... Is it? Yeah. Right, number one in the original is great. Then they made a couple of sequels that got... Worse, but this new one produced by Jordan Peele, excellent. Mm. Yeah. Well, I have to have the lights on when I go for a wee, though. I, I can't comment on how you piss. <laughs> <laughs> like a horse, Jonathan, like a horse. <laughs> <laughs>
This uncle looks like he interferes with goats in Karachi. I don't like him. <laughs> uh, Sarah, go on, let's... Uh, let's... <laughs> oh, you're cute. Wow. I like That's it. cute. I probably wow. had that hairdo at some point. Yeah, we got That's a very good as well. <laughs> <laughs> like a young true leaf. <laughs> What's that, Steve? I'd watch the Olympics if it was like this. <laughs> yes. Uh, what, what do you got, Gus, Sarah? <laughs> this real headline. Yeah, yeah. We, we remember reading it in the... Was it yeah. Coventry Telegraph? Yeah, it's Coventry Com yeah. Telegraph. It's, it's incredible Be, scenes, incredible uh, scenes. Be a trunks woman, punch weather spoons. Cos <laughs> she got a reputation in Coventry. she got a mad... <laughs> beer trunks woman. That's one woman, isn't it, called the beer trunks woman? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. who she is. That's what she's known. Beer, she's had a lot of beer, she's trunks. wearing trunks. Yeah, the beer trunks woman, she punches... And she punches, like, the it's building. Not yeah. like, the people in it, just the pub the itself. The whole pub. And at did first, people didn't take it seriously, did they, Sarah? Yeah, no. Until she was lamping out bricks from the wall and then people were like, <laughs> fucking hell, mate, she's strong. And that's how she got, that's how she got in the Coventry Telegraph. <laughs> I asked you, what was the nickname given to the digital versions of ABBA for their reunion? We went for avatars, like avatars. It was avatars, not abattoirs. Yeah. Avatars like avatars. Yeah. The ABBA. S Sarah, James, you've gone with... Yeah, avatar. Avatar. Well, that's a very funny, correct answer. Uh, cousin Sarah. <laughs> Shabba. <laughs> Shabba. You think Shabba? Yeah. You think ABBA are now known as Shabba? Yeah. I mean, that's smart, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like a sham ABBA, like a... Yeah. Shabba. <laughs> Maybe that's better than avatars, but the answer is avatars. Points, uh, points, no point. Only Australian person who got to interview Adele didn't get to do the interview. It was cut really short because she said, what did you think of the album? And he said, I haven't listened. Oh, mm. that is the right answer. But let's go over to Gus and Sarah to see what nonsense they wrote down. <laughs> Shabba. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we thought maybe he didn't fuck her over so she couldn't write an album about <laughs> I think we've got it right. She was attacked by wild boars. <laughs> That's the Duran Duran song, isn't it? Wild boars! <laughs> <laughs> it's time now for a special bonus question, and to ask it, it's one of the undisputed heroes of 2021. Please give it up for Jackie Weaver. <laughs> Now, Jackie, you became an internet sensation this year. Uh, you were chairing a meeting, I believe, online. Should we take a look at the meeting? Why not? Let's catch yes! everyone up. Let's take a look. It's only the chairman who can remove people from a meeting. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. <laughs> she's kicked him out. I, I, no, no, she's kicked him out. No, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. <laughs> It's a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. And they now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. <laughs> Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <laughs> it's like you're a fucking bad man. <laughs> Guys, he's right, you're a fucking bad man. <laughs> I've got a couple of questions. Firstly, I suppose, and most obviously, why did you call that meeting illegally? <laughs> All I can say is, we already have one person that thinks it's illegal. We don't need two. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe you've got a question for us. Um, I would like you to read it and understand it. <laughs> I, I can certainly read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Weaver, if you want to, for a laugh, just kick Jimmy out of the thing and then take <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. Please, can you read it? Come on. Yeah. 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 Please. Ask, ask your question, Jackie, ask your question. And I can ask it from here, even yeah. better. Um, Texas lawyer Rod Ponton became an internet sensation after a clip of him on Zoom went viral. Can you remember what happened? OK. So what happened with Rod Ponton? You've got to write down your answers. Jackie, we've a pleasure to meet you. Jackie, have you still got beef with that guy? What was his name? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Bad man. Yeah. So much beef, you don't even know what to do. 
OK, let's see what everyone got for this. So who was the Texan lawyer Rod Ponton, what happened to him? Sarah and James have gone for... But he had no trousers the, on, the we're classic, guessing. We the don't classic. know. Oh, my God! You think the classic Zoom call, no trousers, yeah. he oh, gets up, yeah. he exposes himself. Yeah. You've gone for Jonathan and Judy? Well, we, we remember someone who was caught on film having sex. With his, with his PA. With but his PA. it wasn't sure if it was a lawyer or a judge, but it was in a court, near a court. OK, Gus, Sarah, we're relying on you. Yeah, it's, it's the man who used the cat as his face on the call. Well, let's have a look. Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter <laughs> turned on in the video setting. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a We're trying look. to... We're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 you guys. That was that was Rod oh, Rod Ponton, so who's a lawyer. He's he's like he's he's defending someone. Jackie Weaver. If someone appeared on one of your local uh, council meetings with a cat face, would he get booted off or would he be allowed to stay? After the year that I've had, it would be a welcome relief. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you which famous face uh, was on board Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin rocket ship when it launched into space in October. Who did you think? James knew this. William mm -hmm. Shatner, I said. Yep. He was the oldest man in space. He's the oldest man in most rooms he's in as well, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come here. Did you, you got this? Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't just his face. It was all of them went. You said which famous face. It was all of them. Yeah. <laughs> there, look at him. He does look quite well, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. He's 90, yeah. Amazing. Risky, though, know, isn't it? Risky uh, taking Uncle up there. <laughs> it's risky taking him to the shops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God love him. OK, so William Shatner, political editor, uh, Robert Peston asked you, what was unusual about the German investment advisor, Mr Gox? What did you get? We think Mr Gox is a hamster. Uh, yeah. Sarah James, what do well, you think? Well, we also think he was an animal of some kind, and we've, we've gone a horse. Question a mark. horse? A horse, yeah, cos sometimes they do maths with horses cos they can stamp their feet and guess in. We were just guessing an animal. We think he's an animal, though. He's an animal, you think he's a horse, you think he's a hamster. Uh, guys and Sarah. Uh, we thought he was funny. That was the unusual thing, because he's German. So... <laughs> and he's funny! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>